You know, when my husband and I moved to San Diego, one of our first homes had a big yard with lots of plants and flower beds. So I decided to try my hand at gardening again. And some of it went well, and some of my plants and flowers grew. And unfortunately, some of my gardening didn't turn out so well, and of course, they ended up dying. You know, maybe it was the soil I used or the season that I tried planting in that maybe some of those flowers and flower beds didn't turn out so well. But now, as I look back on that time and what I had been facing in my life, the words plant in faith, root in love, play on repeat in my mind. So plant in faith, what does that mean? To plant in faith is to have faith that your garden will bear fruit at just the right time. Maybe that's what God was asking me to do with my dreams, you know, to show up, prepare the soil, plant in faith and hope in what was unseen, and then trust that fruit would come at just the right time. And root in love. As I look back on it now, I can imagine myself like being on my knees and my old jeans, arms covered in soil, and it dawned on me. You know, we fight lies not only by pulling them out, but also by rooting ourselves in love. And there's a verse in the Bible that says, I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know that this love surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. Somehow in that sacred moment in the dirt, I realize now that in all my dreaming and striving, I was looking for something deeper. I was longing for my Eden, you know, heaven, a garden of life, wholeness. You know, that's the fullness of God. Perhaps, maybe that's why when we get what we want, you know, the things like the car, the spouse, the promotion, you know, the finish line ends up moving. You know, the satisfaction we thought we'd feel just doesn't come. We just long for the next thing, always feeling almost where we want to be. Maybe that's because we were never meant to find fulfillment through even the greatest things in this world. We were made for something even greater. We were made for God. So that's it for today on this Woven Words Wednesday. I'm Janice Rivera. Please join us at our next Woven Workshop, either in person or online that's coming up this month. Just go to our website or you can message me to find out more. Until next time, my woman ladies, as you go about your days striving and achieving, remember that what the author of The Embrasure Only says, that life is a garden to tend, not a race to win. Take care.